Hundreds of people from the Lagos Central Senatorial District today assembled at Yaba in Lagos mainland to listen to their senator give an account of how she has been representing them in the Senate. It was the eighth edition of the town hall meeting frequently called by Senator Remy Tunubu to account of her stewardship to her constituents. But this time, the meeting was not just about talk, as over 185 youths were giving cash and equipment to start their own trade. They had all been trading various skills at the Skills Acquisition Center. Both the training and the startup grants were provided by Senator Tinubu. Addressing the beneficiaries, wife of the Lagos State Governor, Abimbola Fashola, urged them to make judicious use of the opportunity to lift themselves out of poverty and create employment. I am glad that we have a lot of graduates who have learned a skill. It shows that it's just not the certificates that we require anymore. We all cannot get the white collar jobs. So we need to have a skill that we are passionate about and that we can always work towards to for us to earn a living and for us to be able to live a healthy life. Speaking to journalists shortly after the event, the senator said the level of poverty and unemployment in society compelled her to embark on the initiative. If not for the need in the society, I won't be do doing this. You can see that the level of poverty is so high. People are jobless, there's no encouragement, but you see what I do is so little. It can't really meet the needs of everybody. If I'm doing 80 boys in my district, what is the population of my district? But it's just a flicker of hope, just to tell them that, you know, some of us, we understand their need, we want the best for them, and this is what I could give back, and that is what is driving me. She also used the opportunity to call on the federal government to do something about the rising level of poverty in the country, advising that everything should not be politicized. Look at what is going on with ASU strike, it's ongoing, and it's a shame that federal government, the, the presidency is claiming that everything is political. Boko Haram is political. Education is political. I know it will say health sector too is political. So the rot in governance is also political. I think that's a lame game. We should set our record straight. We should do what we have to do for the people. We should also understand and hear people crying. The downtrodden, they are increasing by the day. And you can see crime, the rate of crime is alarming. Look at what happened in Kenya. And just recently we were watching Nasara. I've never seen a grave for a car. That is scary. So if Mr. President doesn't see all those, I think people who are advising him should show him this and let him see what is on ground. We are just like a time bomb ticking by the day. Every Nigerian hopes that time bomb doesn't go up before it is diffused.